Hello everyone, this is me again, Ma'am Kath, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we had our first lesson video last time. We discussed the definition of research and also the two major types of research. So we have the applied and the basic research. So before we get into our next lesson, let's have first a short review of our past discussion. So uh, kindly answer the following questions. Great job! Now that you already know the difference between basic and applied research, let us now discuss and dig deeper into research. So let's discuss the characteristics, the different processes, and also the ethics of research. Today, you will first enumerate the characteristics of research, determine the processes of research, and lastly, identify the ethical codes and policies for research. Research is described as empirical, systematic, controlled, it employs hypotheses, it is analytical, objective, and it must be an original work. Let's discuss each of the characteristics of a research paper. Characteristics of research Empirical Research is based on observations and experiments of theories. We generate new facts, not just opinions, when we conduct research investigations. Of course, evidence is required to generate facts. We need evidence to validate our hypotheses or assumptions, and thus we may reach different conclusions. You should also remember that research is carefully recorded and reported. Conclusions and generalizations are arrived at carefully and cautiously. Research is systematic. Research follows orderly and sequential process based on valid procedures and principles. It takes time and a lot of patience when writing research. There must be no missed steps or procedures, and the process of identifying the problem and reaching conclusions must all be followed. Research is patient and unhurried activity. Controlled. In research, all variables except those that are tested or experimented on are kept constant. As a researcher, controlling an experiment is critically important to make sure that your observations are accurate and not just random events. Research employs hypothesis. This refers to a search for facts, answers to questions, and solutions to problems. This ensures the entire research methodologies are scientific and valid. It helps to assume the probability of research failure and progress. It helps to provide link to the underlying theory and specific research question. Analytical. This refers to the ability to collect and analyze information, problem solve, and make decisions. You use analytical skills in research when detecting patterns, brainstorm with your co researchers, observe, interpret data, and make decisions based on the multiple factors and options provided by your research data. Next, objective. This refers to research being unbiased, logical, or impartial. Thus, an objective researcher is like a judge 
who attempts to give a fair hearing to both sides of a legal dispute. The objective judge listens to both sides of a dispute without giving undue consideration to either. All findings are based on real-life situations when conducting research. Research should be unaffected by moral, economic, social, political, or religious values. Lastly, research should be original work. It requires its own examination and produces the data needed to complete the study. Originality is one of the most important criteria for a successful research investigation. Your research should be properly cited and carefully written to avoid allegations of academic dishonesty and plagiarism. Now that you know the different characteristics of research, let us now find out the different processes involved in research study. The research process. These are the defining research problem, review of related literature, formulating hypothesis, research design, collecting data, analyzing data, interpret and report. Here are the guide questions that would help you to understand these processes. Define research problem. What is the problem? The review of related literature is what evidence is already presented. Formulating hypothesis question is how are we going to find or look for the answer to questions being studied? Research design where will the study be shown and with what population? Collecting data is are we ready to gather the data? Where do we find the data? Analyzing data is how do the data answer the research queries? And lastly, interpret and report. What are the implications of the results? In any type of academic writing, there are rules and policies that you must follow. In research, we have the research ethics. These are the moral principles that govern researchers on how to carry out their research study. These principles are used to shape research regulations, agreed by groups such as university governing bodies, communities, or governments. All researchers should follow the regulations that apply to their work. Now let's discuss what are the different ethics of research. Ethics in research. Why do we have to know the different ethics of research? What is the importance of research ethics? According to Resnick in 2007, research ethics encourages truth, knowledge, and credibility. It also instills collaborative qualities. Research ethics also holds researchers accountable for their own actions. It also ensures that researchers are held accountable to the public. Lastly, it requires public knowledge. The researcher can assess this before starting the study because it may benefit a local population. Ethical codes and policies for research. Honesty. Data should not be faked. Objectivity. Avoid biases in experimental designs, data analysis, interpretation, expert testimony, and other aspects of research. Integrity. Keep your promises and agreements on your paper and with your respondents. Carefulness. Avoid careless errors and negligence. Openness. Share data, results, ideas, and tools. Be open to criticism and new ideas. 
confidentiality. Protect confidential communication between you and your participants or respondents of the research. Responsible publication. Avoid duplicating publications. Responsible mentoring. Help to educate, mentor, and advise others. Respect of intellectual property. Give proper acknowledgement, citation, or credits to all researchers. Respect colleagues. Respect your colleagues and treat them fairly. Social responsibility. Strive to promote social good and prevent or mitigate social harms through research, public education, and advocacy. Non-discrimination. Avoid discrimination against colleagues or students on the basis of sex, race, ethnicity, or other factors not related to scientific competence and integrity. Legality. Be informed and obey relevant laws and institutional governmental policies. Animal care. Show proper respect and care for animals when using them in research. Do not conduct unnecessary or poorly designed animal experiments. Human subjects protection. When doing human subject research, limit harms and risks and maximize benefits. Respect human dignity, privacy, and autonomy. Take additional precautions with vulnerable groups and try to properly distribute research benefits and burdens. Wow, that was a lot of information. And I bet you're starting to think that research is really tiresome, meticulous, and demanding process. I made a summary of our lesson today so that you will be able to review all of what we have discussed. Today, you learned that research is empirical, systematic, and controlled. It employs hypotheses and is analytical and objective and must be original work. Second, the process involved in research are defining research problem, reviewing of related literature, formulating hypotheses, constructing the research design, collecting data, analyzing data, and interpreting and reporting. Ethics in research encourages truth, knowledge, and credibility. It holds research accountable for their own actions and to the public. It also requires public knowledge. The ethical codes and policies of research are honesty, objectivity, integrity, carefulness, openness, confidentiality, responsible publication, responsible mentoring, respect of intellectual property and colleagues, social responsibility, non-discrimination, legality, animal care, and human subjects protection. And that's it for today's lesson video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification bell below so that you will be able to be updated or to get updated of our lesson videos every week. So I hope to see you again next time. Again, this is Mom Kat. Have a great day. Bye!